The leaders of Hungary and Poland say they are open to new proposals over the EU's 1.8 trillion euro budget that they've been threatening to veto. The Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki and his Hungarian counterpart Viktor Orban held a short meeting in Warsaw last night to discuss their protest strategy ahead of an EU summit later this month. It was their second meeting on the subject in less than a week. With more on the ongoing budget standoff, let's head to Brussels to speak to our correspondent, Shona Murray. Morning to you, Shona. So what does it mean they're open to new proposals? Does this sort of set the groundwork for negotiation or perhaps mediation between the two leaders and Brussels? Well, certainly, I think on the face of it, it does, Rosie, but I suppose the question is, you know, what would they like to see? How much would they like the text watered down? And would that be to the point where the new rule of law mechanism agreed would be actually ineffective and then we be back at square one? And we also have to also remember the fact that this new text, this was already a compromise between the Parliament and the Council and the Commission. The Parliament wanted much more stringent uh, rule of law mechanism in place. But we did hear yesterday from Angela Merkel that she was saying everybody needs to come to the table and agree some sort of a compromise. It just it remains to be seen what that would look like and whether the Parliament will go with it. But I think what's very important here is that there is a hard deadline for this to be wrapped up by December 7th, at which point, which point, point normally the Council and the Parliament would have agreed the terms of the EU budget, ready to have it in place uh, for January. If they haven't got it done by then, they have to come up with an alternative arrangement, which also means that all the new pledges on climate change, on migration um, and all of the issues issues uh, around it, the reform of the common agricultural policy and there will be a delay of the EU 750 billion euro, uh, euro rescue fund. That would be delayed and the other pledges would literally fall away. In addition to that, Rosie, the billions and billions of euro that Hungary and Poland and their citizens were due to receive from um, various cohesion funds and structural funds, that would also fall away. So it's a huge risk. Um, Hungary and Poland are saying they'd like to have wrapped up and something in place for the 11th of December summit, but actually that will be too late. So really the next few days are crucial on this issue. Rosie? Shona, thank you very much. Our correspondent there giving the view from Brussels.